What's cracking, guys, and welcome to 2022, a year that just started off and it's going off with a bang. Really butthole opening bad stuff going on all around. From what I hear, there's even a new virus going around that mixes with the flu. Isn't that great? But just one day into this whole mess, coming out with a bright smile on her face saying, yeah, maybe this year will be better. Sipping on that copium, it's going to be better. Square Enix decided to absolutely destroy its entire reputation and all of its goodwill that it's been building up over the years by saying that, yeah, we want to go into NFTs. So Yosuke Matsuda did a New Year's letter, I guess, from the president of Square Enix saying how much he loves NFTs and how much he wants to incorporate that. I also explain some other weird things that are going into it here. I'll try and just hit the hot topics of this letter right here. And speaking of hot topics, he's saying that the metaverse was it in 2021 and it was apparently dubbed the metaverse year. Now, I don't know about you, but who the heck is referring <laughs> to 2021 as the metaverse year? Pretty sure it might have been a virus here, but I'm just that's just me as well. Well, then he goes into a paragraph displaying his love of NFTs or non-fungible tokens, saying that, you know, the the use of blockchains being increased significantly, and they like this idea of making goods that are digital, and they think that they're going to be used more in the future um, rather than physical goods. Which, to be fair, the increase in digital sales is indeed going up of digital games and things like that. But, you know, this this one's a little bit worse for the wear. For those of you unfamiliar with what NFTs are and what they do and whatever that is, it's basically, say, this Pokemon card, okay? It's a first edition Charizard. Really expensive artwork that otherwise has no meaning but to, like, collectors of this. You assign the value of this NFT. But this Pokemon card, it doesn't exist IRL. It's, it's this, it's, ah! it's gone. It's a digital good. And you sell this online and say, hey, you are now the owner of this. However, you may own the copy of said Mona Lisa or Charizard here, but I still retain the rights to it, um, so I can still sell as many of these as I want, but you own the original. Hence why you're able to save pictures online of NFTs and things, because you don't have the blockchain list of sales and other things saying that you're the owner. Now, if you're not saying that this is pretty dumb already, um, it's, yeah, it's pretty dumb. It's like a worse way of doing artist commissions. I'm saying, can you make this art for me? Sure, here you go. And like, now you own the commission. You own whatever you purchased from the artist. Fantastic, you can share it. You still own it no matter what, and that's great. However, with this, you don't even own it. <laughs> it's just like, ah, you gotta have the digital original of it, whatever that counts for, but you know, you, we still own it. NFTs are basically a new form of cryptocurrency, Ethereum of what it is, and it's tied specifically to that through a series of computers and stuff, and it's just based on the belief of how valuable do you think this Ethereum is going to be. You know, it's just like, you know, how governments assign value to, I guess, the USD or other things, you know, pounds, whatever, yen. Basically, it's like another Dogecoin. Except this time, every single coin comes with a weird monkey image. <laughs> or something like that. And we do know that NFTs have their fair share of bad happenings going on, such as the defiling of Stan Lee recently, where they used his Twitter account to promote their NFTs of a dead man and basically dig up his corpse and sell it for more money. That was a great thing. The internet really enjoyed that. And then there's also, you know, Nyan Cat being sold as NFTs. Logan Paul apparently selling his Pokemon NFT card. There's just all sorts of weird things going on. Anyway, going on back to the letter here, he's saying, however, with the advances in token economies, users will be provided with explicit incentives, thereby resulting not only in greater consistency in their motivation, but also creating a tangible upside to their creative efforts. Basically saying earlier that he wants user-generated content to be uh, rewarded with NFTs, I guess. Basically allowing Square Enix to take this user-generated content, 
make it into money for them and make it into a market where people develop things for them that they have no part of. They don't have to pay these people as employees, but still profit off of them. And bottom line says it's ramping up in business accordingly and with an eye to potentially issuing your own token, their own tokens in the future. So yeah, they're basically saying, yeah, they want to make NFTs. Most businesses want to dive headfirst into this um, lucrative, I, I guess, dealing of digital goods. However, the community is in complete uproar over this. They didn't take too kindly to this. And I still think it's pretty dumb. And I don't like it at all. Square Enix president saying that they're going all in on NFTs in the same month. Their most successful game of all time is backed up uh, with 20k queues. And has had to halt sales due to hardware shortage caused by NFTs. And it's them shooting themselves in the back of the head. That's right, their most successful game is getting even worse now because people can't even get inside of it and they're gonna make it even worse with more NFT sales. Because if you don't know, uh, the cryptocurrency market here, that's and this NFT is also hailed from here, it requires a lot of computers and stuff and hardware in order to mine and, you know, get the crypto out of. So they're hurting themselves by making the market even worse, which is great. Not to mention that it's a huge waste in resources. And how bad is the use of energy with NFTs? Well, people are telling me that it's about 70 full playthroughs of a single player game to do one singular Ethereum transaction. And that's how much of a waste it is in energy. And it's also kind of ironic that they literally did a remaster of a game where a guy is trying to save the planet from evil corporations destroying it. I don't know, maybe like Barrett saying, the planet's dying, Cloud. It's these cryptos fluckers are trying to get us to burn down half the rainforest for a dang JPEG. That was one of the popular tweets going out here too. Okay, it's funny, it's just ironic. They're doing exactly the what the bad guys of their games do. There's even another huge one of Square Enix really said, Happy New Year and started to talk about NFTs immediately, bro with a beret saying, you're gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out for pain? Like, it's, I don't know what they're thinking, man. I don't understand. This is not the way that I'm hoping 2022 goes here. And trust me, these memes that you're seeing here on Twitter are just the top of the top, just the tip of the iceberg. There is so many tweets of people criticizing them for doing this with well over thousands of upvotes and likes and retweets. It's absolutely crazy the negative backlash coming from all of this and it's well deserved honestly. And it certainly doesn't help when you know the president of Square Enix is saying I realize that some people who play to have fun and who currently form the majority of players ha have voiced their reservations toward these new trends, and understandably so. However, <laughs> and he goes on to explain how he wants to milk people of money through NFTs and more microtransactions and things like that. You know, corporate things. I just don't understand. At this point, I'm, I'm watching like my favorite game companies eventually just burn up from the inside now. I've enjoyed many of Final Fantasy games. I've enjoyed plenty of mana games out there. I've enjoyed Nier. Heck, I have enjoyed games before they were considered Square Enix, such as Super Mario RPG. That one was fantastic on this S. One of my favorite games of all time. I hate seeing companies do this to themselves. And the dumbest thing about it, it's just, it's like a pyramid scheme. The person who starts the NFT craze gets all of the profits and everyone else below him who keeps trading and making more money off of this NFT that they originally sold is, he's the one that's profiting the most while everyone's just trying to scramble to get as much bucks as they can. So obviously companies want to take, you know, part of this because they're the ones who are controlling all the prices of the NFTs and therefore getting the most bang and buck out of it. It's it's so bad. And the worst part of it is all, you don't really own it, you know? It can still go up uh, through digital decay, you know, which is a thing. The block encoding, you know, and the blockchains are eventually will go corrupt and you won't be able to access that anymore. Not to mention that people can literally just copy, paste, and save your freaking NFT and oh, look. 
hey, I have it now too. Is it really yours? No, not really. You just have a gift certificate or something of it. I don't know. Just saying that you own the piece. It's the most bull crap I've ever seen. And it doesn't really help the fact that a lot of my artist friends are having their art stolen constantly and sold as NFTs. When the, the people who are making the money don't even own the art to begin with, they're still making profit off of it. I've seen this time and time again. It's stupid. I mean, there's literally a joke going around that, you know, Square Enix is basically Shinra now, and they're selling their NFTs. With Sephiroth here, I, I, I don't know what else to say at this point. It's cringe. I mean, at least it's not quite as bad as the Stan Lee incident of digging up a grave, but it's basically digging up... I guess the grave of their success of the predecessors and trying to sell and get as much money as possible. I don't know. Maybe it's digging up multiple bodies at this point. And I'm bringing it to you on this channel here because, you know, Square Enix is, makes a lot of anime games and I'm an anime based channel and NFTs have a lot of anime stuff. And you know, like I guess in the future, maybe they're gonna start making anime NFTs. There probably already is at this point. I wouldn't doubt it. So I just want to like bring up this, this issue here and I hope it doesn't continue. And all honestly, I just think that this is just another way to introduce microtransactions into games and then to try and fight back against the decreasing value of the dollar because $60 isn't enough for AAA games anymore because, you know, they cost way more to produce and money is inflating and, and games have been locked at $60 so they gotta try and find more ways to milk money out of consumers. And this is just one of them and hence why the popularization of microtransactions is happening. Man, I'm getting really into economics, aren't I? I just talk about funny memes and boobs. Man, I what, what's going on here, Noble? What are you talking about economics? Regardless, I'm just here to warn you. I don't want this to continue. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Maybe I'm all wrong. Maybe NFTs are the future. This right here is not it, man. And I really want a better way for publishers to make money than NFTs, I guess. Like to hear your thoughts and opinions below in the comment section, leave a like, subscribe for some more quality content, and I hope 2022 becomes better than this. See you later, gamers. You crazy mother...